Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today there is a new firmware for the Osmo Pocket. This is firmware 1.3.0.20, and is it worth upgrading? I'm going to say absolutely. There's a couple things in here that are really important, uh, in my opinion. Uh, one for European shooters, it, there's now 25 and 50 frames per second uh, versus the 24 and 60 that we use here in the US, so that's good news for those guys. There's added support to shoot three by three panorama photos when the tilt axis is between 20 and 80 degrees. So uh, kind of a new mode there for that. The active track has been improved for detecting people's heads and shoulders. That is a biggie. A lot of times when I've been trying to use active track, it would kind of drift up and or drift down and end up cutting the top of my head off. And I've been testing it with the new firmware and it's much more solid of a lock onto the face. So I think that's a big improvement. And the last firmware update, when you turned it off, it would go into storage mode. So like that, uh, and it would, hold that for five seconds. Now it holds it for eight seconds. Um, not a big deal in my opinion, but it's kind of handy. The focus has been optimized in some conditions. Don't really know what some conditions means, but anytime that the focus is improved on here, it's gonna be a good thing. Every once in a while, mostly when doing close-up stuff, I'll get some focus hunting. I haven't had a chance to test that because it's a variety of different situations, but hopefully um, some of that focusing issues have been improved on here. So I'm looking forward to trying that. The active track has also been improved when it's in flashlight or portrait mode. So um, I don't think I've ever used portrait mode on here, but flashlight mode I do use quite a bit. Just it's Sometimes it's a little easier when I'm getting a low shot or something. So hopefully uh, that's going to be a nice improvement. Again, haven't tested that. I've only tested it in the handheld, you know, in the landscape mode. But I will be doing some tests in the other modes to see if it's, you know, a nice improvement on there as well. Now, one thing that um, I hadn't noticed, but a few people had, is in a scene that was primarily green, if you were using auto white balance, you would get kind of a red tint to it. So grass, trees, uh, a lot of things like that, you can end up with a red tint with auto white balance. Now that has been corrected on here. So that's a, a nice little plus. Uh, again, a problem that I never ran into, but some people had was that they said it was charging very, very slow. And part of the firmware update says that that has been corrected. Now, one thing, you do want to do after you do the firmware update is a gimbal calibration. Now, if you've done a gimbal calibration on here before, you noticed it was basically instantaneous. It really didn't do anything. Now, when I go into the calibration, it says to put it down and hit OK. Now it's doing a three second countdown and it will start doing what is more traditionally a DJI gimbal calibration. So left, right, up, down, all the different things that it would normally do. So I think that's going to improve the performance of the gimbal and make sure that things are working a little bit better in things like horizon hold and just making sure that the gimbal is not drifting at all. So, yep, gimbal calibration's in there now. So yes, if you have uh, got an Osmo Pocket, I highly recommend doing this firmware update. All you do is plug it into your smartphone and now it'll launch the MIMO app and generally it takes you right into the camera page. So what you want to do is just click on the DJI icon in the upper left hand corner of the MIMO app and right there you should see a bar that says new firmware update available and a download link. So click on that and it will start the download process and then do the update. Make sure you don't touch anything while it's doing that, otherwise it can interrupt the firmware update process. So just let it go. Uh, when I did it last night, it took yeah, about five minutes maybe. So it doesn't take too long, uh, worked pretty well. Now the gimbal calibration finished, it says to click OK, and now I'm back up and running. So this is the new firmware update 
uh, 1.3.0.20 for the Osmo Pocket. Highly recommend this firmware update. I think the things like focus and active track being improved are big, big improvements in the Pocket that everyone is going to be able to take advantage of. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.